So today, America does remember the hundreds of men used in research without their knowledge and consent. We remember them and their family members, men who were poor and African-American, without resources and with few alternatives. They believed they had found hope when they were offered free medical care by the United States Public Health Service. They were betrayed. The damage done by the Tuskegee study is much deeper than the wounds any of us may have suffered. It, it speaks to our faith in government and the ability of medical science to serve as a face, as a force for good. unfairly, to some extent, like guinea pigs. We were not pigs. Or we were all hard-working men and not boys, and citizens of the United States. The wounds, the wounds rather, that were inflicted upon us cannot be undone. I'm saddened today to think of those who did not survive and whose families will forever live with the knowledge that their death and suffering was preventable. No power on earth can give you back the lives lost, the pain suffered, the years of internal torment and anguish. What was done cannot be undone, but we can end the silence. We can stop turning our heads away. We can look at you in the eye and finally say on behalf of the American people, what the United States government did was shameful and I am sorry. Tuskegee studies occurred within many of our own lifetimes. To truly combat vaccine hesitancy and encourage diverse enrollment in clinical trials, we must first acknowledge this real history of mistreatment and exploitation of minorities by the medical community and the government. Then we need to explain and demonstrate all that has been done to address these wrongs. <laughs> 